not strong. strong. You wouldn't think a tennis game would age well, considering all the variables you'd have to get right. The physics behind how the ball behaves, considering spin and velocity, the movement of the players. It must have been a really tricky process for the developers, but they did a hell of a job with Super Tennis. Probably the only tennis game on the Super Nintendo that's still worth playing today. Believe me, when it comes to Super NES tennis games, it's slim pickings. Andre Agassi Tennis has slippery controls and is mediocre at best. Jimmy Connors Pro Tennis is frustrating and inconsistent. International Tennis Tour is really slow with a terribly positioned camera angle. David Crane's amazing tennis has amazingly touchy timing and hit detection. The point is, there's a lot of crap out there. What sets Super Tennis apart first and foremost is the camera angle. The fixed overhead view allows you to see anything and everything. Most importantly though, is that the physics engine behaves consistently. So when you have a shot in mind you want to execute, like say I want to hit a hard shot with topspin in the corner there to get it past the opponent, you can do it with regularity as long as you've got enough practice. That's one caveat I have to mention though. This isn't exactly a pick up and play game. It does take a while to get good. Not only does Super Tennis have a decent physics engine that behaves consistently, but it also takes surfaces into consideration. The ball will behave differently on grass, clay, or hard court. The game also has a variety of different players that all have different playing styles, not to mention hairstyles. Perhaps my favorite thing about Super Tennis is how the game sounds. They did a perfect job with the sound of the racket hitting the ball. That makes the game really sound like a tennis match. Okay, I know, that might be a bit of a boring detail to point out, but hey, I'm a big sound guy, and I love the sound in this game. And it actually sounds somewhat realistic to this day. To progress through the single-player campaign, you're enlisted in several tournaments all around the world, playing on different surfaces which all require different skill sets. Grass is built for speed, clay is built for power, and hardcourt is a bit of a balance between both. The goal is to end the year as the number one ranked player in the world, and this requires winning several tournaments. This would be no problem if you had a battery save, but sadly there isn't one. Instead, there are these unholy passwords that at first glance appear to be about 3,000 characters long. Are you freaking serious with this? Ugh. This is definitely the most disappointing part of this game. Anyway, other than that, Super Tennis is by far the most complete tennis game you will find on the Super Nintendo. The physics engine is reliable, the sound is really well done, and the variety of surfaces and playing styles makes you think a little bit about how you want to go about a match. It's a cleverly made tennis game that stands out in a sea of mediocrity.